Today's video shout out is Daniel Keeping Fish. Is this the next must have product for your aquarium? What is it and what does it do? When it comes to having an aquarium, I just can't help myself from having live plants. And I typically have a lot of live plants, many fast growing plants which take up the tank very quickly. It looks lush, it looks dense, it really looks very, very attractive, but also it helps the water, the water quality, and it helps to keep the fish a lot more healthy. Live plants, when they're growing, they absorb and take up a lot of the nutrients from the waste of the fish, which leaves the water much better as a result. But live plants can't keep the water clean on their own. Every time we feed our fish, we create new waste and that waste pollutes the water and that's not good for the fish to live in. One of the ways we can measure how much waste is in an aquarium is by testing the nitrate level, which is the level of the wastes after they've been processed and improved by bacteria living in the tank. And nitrates will sit there and nitrates will increase if we don't remove them which is a large part of why we change aquarium water very often weekly to keep the water as healthy as we can for the fish so nitrates do not keep on rising and rising up to harmful levels. Which is why we should test our water to see what our nitrate levels are as well as the pH and GH. And if they're on sale, it's a good chance to get not just your test kits, but also some other things as well, like a bit fresh of fresh food like Daphnia, brine shrimp, blood worms, to go with the dry foods they normally get week to week. Nitrates not only go up in your aquarium every time you feed your fish, nitrates also go up because the number of fish in your tank very often goes up as well when fish start breeding. And it doesn't take long when fish are breeding for nitrate levels to really take off. Levels of nitrate, which are 40 milligrams per litre or below, are considered normal and 40 milligrams and above starts to get you into a bit of trouble where you may get extra algae growing, but also the fish are not living in as clean a water as is ideal because there are bad bacteria that tend to take over in tanks when the waste levels really do start to rise. And it's not so much just the nitrate on its own, which can cause stress related illnesses to your fish, the nitrate levels as they get higher in the aquarium indicate a general level of pollution which stimulates a lot of bad bacteria and those bad bacteria often lead to infections and disease and that's what you don't want in an aquarium. So other than growing live plants and changing lots and lots of water, what else can you do to keep nitrates low? Well that brings us to today's video. One of the best known aquarium brands in the world is Seachem and Seachem have a filtration product, a biomedia, which is specifically for reducing and removing nitrates from your aquarium water. I've had aquariums for over 40 years and I've only just found out about D-nitrate. This aquarium biomedia is something that probably every aquarist should have in their aquarium at all times to help keep aquarium water as fresh and clean and healthy as you possibly can. This is a completely natural product and it works by having two different kinds of bacteria living together at the same time. Normal oxygen loving aerobic bacteria living on the outside of these granules as well as having over time a very different group of bacteria who live in very low levels of oxygen concentration on the inside of these granules. And together, the two types of bacteria will take fish wastes, convert it through the normal process of ammonia, nitrites to nitrates, and the anaerobic bacteria living on the inside of these granules will take the nitrates, pull the oxygen off the nitrate molecule, and release nitrogen back into the atmosphere as nitrogen gas and that completes the entire nitrogen cycle. So now in your aquarium you can grow life plants that improves the water, you can do water changes that also improves the water and through this new filter material from Seachem, D-nitrate, 
you can have another biological method of taking that nitrogen that builds up in your tank and it turns it into a gas and it just leaves your tank completely naturally. So if you've never used this denitrate by Seachem, you probably should go and get some and put it in your aquarium. I have bought some and I have put it in mine. So over the next few weeks and months, I'll be testing my nitrates and I'll see what levels they stay at or go down to. And I'll make a follow-up video, which tells you just how effective this product is in doing what it says it does. And also, I've spoken to Gil from GV Aquariums Australia, and he'll be making some videos where he's using Seachem's denitrate to tell us what results he gets as well. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed it and stay tuned for more videos coming up like one of these. So click on that and keep on watching.